Low cow stuff. Okay. Now we're in the funny zone chat. Chill out. Um, actually, this isn't even funny, but <laughs> it's it's necessary to mention. Um, and automatic clown, by the way, I gave him the ch sticker because he used preserve tube. I actually bothered to upload this myself to the site because he didn't do it, but I'm happy he archived it because. Uh, this is the video. It was taken down by YouTube for violating their TOS. God knows fucking how he did that. But King Cobra JFS was revenge porn by Jessica Boyle, who has a perfect name because it sounds like an actual witch name. Um, and she is an evil witch, and she's the bog witch. And after getting evicted from his trailer, and after being told to, to buzz off uh, and to stop bothering him, she t hinted that she was going to release uh, pornography featuring them. And indeed she did. I will spare you that pornography. Um, but I'll play like a minute of his announcement video. Really, YouTubers. So I did file a official charges on Jessica Boyle for revenge pointing my ass. She sent the fucking pocket knife that I bought for her back with a bunch of other things. And a bullshit fucking manipulative fucking letter that I just ripped up and tore apart after I read. The whole letter she hand wrote was basically talking about herself. People warned me about Jessica. They said, she's fucking crazy, dude. Don't do it. And I'm like, how bad can she really be? And the problem with Jessica Boyle is she's so mentally insufferable. She either does it on purpose to try to get what she wants, or she's mentally unaware of how insufferable she is. And she can't help it because she's got mental problems. And either way, it's frustrating. Jessica Boyle is like, I want the pink coat back. And I'm like, you left it here and told me I don't want it. Fuck Chris. And that's funny how, like, Chris could buy your plane ticket. Oh, bro. Only bro, that's like Manipulator 101, where it's like they leave stuff over at the house and then they're like, oh, I need to go pick up some of my stuff. And then they only take like a couple things and they say, oh, I gotta go pick up my other things. And then they just keep doing that as like an excuse to keep getting into contact. That's like fucking to toxic relationship 101 shit right there. Um, funny. But yeah, I'm happy. The ship has sailed. Cobes has wisened up to uh, the blog witch. Um, and she might get into trouble because I think Wyoming is a state that has uh, revenge pornography laws, which, I mean, I don't know how I feel about. Um, on one hand, I, I believe that it's like personal responsibility that you should not allow yourself to be recorded naked by someone that you don't absolutely trust. Um but on the other hand, it does seem kind of like a thing where it's just like, that's just how dating is in the current year. So, um, I guess there is there is like a ethical quandary. Like, should people be allowed to do that scot free? Especially considering how the internet is and how things don't come down. I think I, I think I I lean in support. I think it is like, especially because you can have legal images of people underage that you can't really tell immediately if they're you know they're like in that questionable zone so it just gives like a carte blanche excuse to say like that should be taken down and it also it it puts the onus on the perpetrator as opposed to the platform because it provides an avenue of actually fixing the issue like you can go to court you can press charges you can get a court order that this content was you know released illegally and it should be taken down and then there is no ethical quandary to 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 host it's like well you know i want to be nice but i don't want to like step into something it's like oh there's the court order saying to do it so of an issue um Yeah, I don't know. It's 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 a difficult one, but I I think at this point I lean more pro because I think that especially from my perspective as someone who hosts a site where people can post whatever they want, I think that it also directs anger at the appropriate parties because it's like that's the guy who wronged you. There are state laws on the books, so go deal with him. And if you get a court order for this shit, then let me know. And that way, like, it takes the heat off of me for, like, having to make a decision that I really don't feel like making. Um, so, from a purely selfish standpoint, I, I prefer that. I'm 
happen for Kobe. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.